all is well. I am doing my one purpose blog talk radio show. I am the owner of One Purpose Magazine and owner and editor. I always have to say that. But I am here with another One Purpose Blog Talk radio show. I hope you all have checked us out or checked me out. <laughs> I don't like to sound selfish, but I hope you all have checked me out on uh, Apple Podcasts. I'm happy to be hosted there as well. So if you can't uh, find me on Blog Talk Radio, you can find me on Apple Podcasts. I have been I started... I started uploading there like a week ago, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I always start out with One Purpose Magazine updates, and I have to write notes. I don't know if it comes with age. I used to be able to do this kind of stuff and be like, bam, 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 off the top of my head. But now it's like, okay, I got to write uh, things down. So the website has a new look, and I'm excited about going forward with the new look. It has a new newsy feel. I felt like the website should have that instead of like um, uh, artsy or creative or just a free forum for content. I like the 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 news the news feel for One Purpose magazine. So I'll keep it like that because of what we cover. You know, we don't really I don't really um, cover any entertainment or um, you know just like music or film or anything like that that's that's really creative a lot of things that i talk about have to do with a lot of social issues so i thought that it would be great to keep the vibe kind of just like focused on the content and not so much the creativeness that can go around the content which i know that there are so many people out there that specialize in that kind of work and we respect it i respect it and i love it but i just wanted to switch up the platform or how the platform, how the information is delivered so that we can be consistent kind of with our brand, my brand and what I do. Um, I am still looking and seeking donations. I started a fund to stipend uh, young writers. I'll put it like that, to stipend young writers for the next issue. The issue will be focused on uh, focus this issue, this upcoming issue, actually will be focused on creatives, although the issue will be focused on that. Primarily, that's not our focus. But since COVID did hit the entertainment industry, spin the creative industry so hard, um, I just wanted to do my part in bringing attention back to those um, creatives and what they do. Because the scene in Chicago with creatives is so, it's, 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 it's so great. You know, it's, it's so many ways we can describe it, but it's such a great, I think, um, area to be a creative in. It just lends so much opportunity to an open mind when it comes to a lot of different genres, not just like music, but even in film, theater, um, spoken word, um, comedy, especially comedy. <laughs> it's the, I think it's a nurturing ground for a lot of comics. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I think so. Um, you know, maybe not where they find fame, but definitely a good nurturing ground is what I called it. Um, so what else do we have going on with One Purpose Magazine? So the new look, they're looking for funds, and also we are seeking artists and creatives. So if you know someone who is looking to get their branding message out and re trying to figure out how to remarket themselves for, um, you know, post COVID-19 or whatever it is, or even during, um, hit me up, go to the website and, and hit contact us and just let me know what's, or tell them to let me know. I'll be excited to do a pre pre screen to find out if, if um, placement as a profile in my publication would be best fit for them. So I'm looking for artists and looking for creatives to have these conversations with um, to expose their greatness and their plans for moving forward in the future. Um, so yeah, hit me up with that. Mm -hmm.